Feeling certainly changed when it went from 3-1 to 3-2, but in the end, Chelsea wins 3-2. Uh, Danny, biggest reason they came out on top? Oh, I think individual brilliance. I think you look at Cole Palmer as a, as a performance. He's been an unbelievable signing. Mudrik, we know the potential that he has. He scores a great goal. Um, there's a lot to like about this Chelsea team. But the one thing that you can't give them at the moment is experience. And we saw they went 3-1 up and you think they're in cruise control. They allow Newcastle back into it. So they're sort of learning on the job every single game that they're playing. What stood out to you? Yeah, very similar thing. Um, even late on in the game there, Chelsea, they're, they're up in the game 3-1. Mm. And they're trying... To, uh, sorry, 3-2 it was at the end. And they're trying to run the, the ball to score another goal. And you're thinking, no, no, no. Take this thing out the game, settle down, match management, in-game management. That's what you've got to do. From a Newcastle point of view, that's a huge missed opportunity. You, you've got to do better. Jacob Murphy comes off the bench. He looks like the only player who's interested and believes that they can win the game. Goes after Chelsea, thinks he can he can make something happen. I felt like it was just too many players, almost passive in the way that they play for Newcastle. Um, they, they look like they are both tired and lacking in confidence. So 1-1 at halftime, a match that truly could have gone either way. Uh, Chelsea wins 3-2. Mm. Was there something you saw in the second half, uh, Danny, that maybe that had been missing in their previous games? Because they'd only won one out of five coming in. Yeah, they, it, it's belief. And, and the problem is, is that you're going to get good results, you're going to get bad results. With young players, that's the one thing you can't have. You're not going to get consistency. That comes with age. And because they're learning on the go, there's going to be more mistakes from now until the end of the season. There'll be a lot of question marks. But for me, that's part of a, of a group that is very, very young. Do you recognise anything different? No, I, I think the big thing is, is that when you look at those, the goals that they've scored, Cole Palmer's could easily, in another game, drag past the post. Mudrick might not do that brilliance in another game. And it, the game can be very difficult then. So two moments of brilliance from Chelsea settles it. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.